Hello everyone, it's me, Lexi 39 here. Today I'm doing my log on my mermaid tail restoration. A lot of this happened before this date, which the date I'm recording this specific audio clip, and most of it minus the monofin stuff because I don't have the monofin yet. Um, it's April 27th, 2014. Yay, we survived 2013 and 2012. But yeah. So, this is pretty much going to be up till it's finished. Uh, it's pretty much almost finished tonight, actually. All I have to do is... Sorry about that. Um, all I have to do is really just get the monofin. But, yeah. The monofin will be in this video, assuming I recorded it. But, yeah, again, this is recorded in advance. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy, and... So, I'm just going to state this. This is not how Fin Fun Tails look. You should always take your tail out of chlorine. I didn't. And that's the only reason why I'm restoring it. Is because I want my tail to be... Well, sorry. I want my tail to be looking like it did when it first got to me. Because I left it in the water for quite a long time. And I left it outside for a few months. Let rain on it. Yeah. Bad idea. Anyway, well, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is the manufacturer photo of the tail. This is how it originally looked. Um, the fin cut on this photo looks a little different because of the fact that mine was ordered before the monofins came in. So therefore, it might look a little different. I haven't got a new tail to look to as a comparison because in videos I can't really tell it's been so long since I wore my tail in water um, I really couldn't stay how it would go and also I haven't tested that on water yet but yeah this um, the color is uh, sorry about being really really blank but the color is Mediterranean Sea this is the prefer tail. It's so hard to see, but it was extremely faded. A lot of the tail was gray, and it was meant to be blue. Anywhere it faded didn't actually feel good either. While the manufacturer photo and how the tail would be in the manufacturer photo, and you know not <laughs> how the tail would be now, if you it's new, it would feel nice. This anywhere it was faded felt rough because of the sequins. The fabric was, I think, the same height as the sequins. But now that the fabric, the shiny parts anyway, have faded, that was kind of gone. Now, I it still has a little bit of fade on it now, but it's not very bad. Now, uh, I guess I'm just going to show you what I did with my fabric markers on it. Because I pretty much colored most of the fading up. And it looks a lot better now, too. So let me show that to you. Okay, so this is the after picture. It's very blurry, but I took the fabric marker and I took a little bit of permanent marker by Bic, B I C, and colored it just to give it some more color. I colored it with both blue and green. The blue matched perfectly. The green obviously didn't because it was green, but it went really good with the color scheme of my tail. I've always wanted the blue and green tail. Personally, I've always wanted it green with blue accents. But now, thinking about it, it would look better with blue and green. So, yeah. That's how the after looked. Now, I have successfully added scales <laughs> using fabric markers, then permanent marker, then adding more permanent marker on it. Seriously, I could not find anything for scales. I went through so many things. Now, I'm pretty happy with how they look, so this is it. That's how the scales look. They look not that realistic, and they're a little better. If that's the front side, the back side looks horrible. You'll see it in a minute. Okay, I couldn't input the silent video I did of the demo because Google wouldn't let me save it, which is kind of scary because it wouldn't even load because I have a lot of important videos that are really special to me backed up by Google. I expect it to play, and my Wi-Fi is fine. Yeah, 
so I'm just going to show you the one on my camera. This was just showing you how I did the scales. This how to do a quick tutorial on the scales since I'm going to fill all these in that need to be filled in. Uh, so we're going to do the bottom. So you just want to draw a scale. This is a permanent marker. If your fabric marker is potent enough, you can use it. I'm only using permanent marker because of the fact it's much more potent than my old worn out fabric markers. I did do fabric marker scales first. And there is some scales in this tail already. So you just want to literally get your pen and draw the scales on. There's nothing else to it. Uh, this will take time. It can take up to an hour, chances are, depending on how big your tail is. If it was like a toddler tail, it would only take, probably still take a while because you need precision, but a toddler tail would take very long. And see, more detailed already. It's hard to see because of the light, so it's hard to see what I'm doing because of how shiny the tail is. See, that's why I'm putting the camera over it, so. Maybe that works. But yeah. This, I have tested it out on a mesh. It, it's not going to come off in the water. Uh, new with the fabric marker, if you let it cure for 38 hours. So, if you have to swim in 24 hours, do not use fabric marker or it's going to come off. In 24 hours. Well, not 24 hours. It takes 48 hours to fully cure. And even then, I'd wait a few days before even touching it because it still might be for not be fully cured um all that jazz but yeah you can learn what type of fabric markers i use oh crap get off my bed i don't want that happening again because i've already ruined my bed sheet this is a very old one i've had since i was five anyway it's actually sure probably sure cake one but it's reversible see see it's reversible reversible. Um, I only sleep with it because it gets my room to no color. This is green. Uh, it's just the fabric markers by Marvi Yukita. Bull tip. I recommend the bull tip. Uh, this um, one looks different than the darker one. Well, not darker, but th th those have been used a lot. Yeah. I gotta go. Alright, it is June third and I'm back again on the tail log since I need to do one of these again uh, so the tail is completely finished now I got my monofin which manufacture photo um, thing is my monofin didn't fit at first and it fit my tail at first which was a bit of a bummer because I didn't think it would work but I got velcro and velcroed it up so here are some demo videos I taped for you to see my tail in. Also, I'll show pictures at the end, but I have to do some more narrating then, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry for bad lighting, but here's my tail. Okay, that's how I'm opening the window. This is my tail. Shut up, camera. But this is the tail. Uh, you can see it has scales everywhere. I do all the scales on. And I velcro the top, so I can't see the monofin anymore. Ow, that hurt my feet. Uh, so the monofin, um, for the fluke, I just did the design for the fluke. And yeah, um, you can kind of see my feet when I go up and down. Um, if you're wondering why was this not a pocket of air or water, I have some holes here. I guess the water could escape. They're really small rips in the tail because it's just, um that seam loves to come apart so it's like a big one so the water water could drain there so that's always nice it's not like a silicone tail though um you can see when i lift it up you can kind of see where the monofin is but it's a lot better than seeing all the black on the edge i use velcro and, uh, can you see it oh god it hurts so bad putting my feet up like that but if you look, ooh, shiny, very shiny tail, because of how it was made, made to reflect light. And you can see in some places it's not the 
most pretty like cricket here. Look at right here. Can see skin if you try. And so yeah, you can probably see where my legs are in the water. If you're wondering why monofin just naturally goes like that. Because of the pressure from the tail. It hasn't snapped though. And if it snaps, I haven't probably have enough money to buy a new one. Just like the new Lubrica insert or whatever the heck it's made out of. It's not new Lubrica, Lubrica is fabric. Yeah, it's kind of hard to control without my toes sticking up. So that is my toe and that's really protective cover to my tail. Yeah, that's my big toe. This is where my feet are. And so yeah, I'm really proud of this tail. And then again, you can't really see the black. But yeah, it took a lot of work. Some long nights. Yeah, you can see some wrinkles where it totally faded and I didn't replace all the blue. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a really nice tail, especially for being like a um, first tail. I'm to help. Ugh, I'm just lay down. This is my big pretty. Ugh, I can see the camera because I'm sure that I mean up and my camera's moving and I should lean up. Yeah. That's my tail. Uh, my feet are inside it, as I said, and it's really easy to take off because I can slip the monofin off inside the tail. So yeah. Okay, so here it is again. So you can kind of see some of the black, like right there. It won't velcro. The velcro came off. I'll fix that in a minute. <laughs> but you see, the velcro holds the tail in place. Like if you carefully like feel, you can see where the edge of the monofin is. But since my tail doesn't have a precise cut. It's like that, and then you know you look in, and you can see where my feet just work. And all that. The monofin's a little high. I got to admit. But yeah, I love the scales, and I love this tail so much. I want to add um, side fins and maybe dulcer fin, dorsal fin. But yeah, that's the tail. It's really pretty. Uh, let me flip it over real quick. It's really, and this is the back. It looks horrible. The back. I mean, what I like about the back's fluke. Look at the thing. It, it's really hard to see because of all the light coming in from my window. But yeah. So this is heavily adjusted. See, like, I use Sharpie and Fabric Marker. It doesn't discolor my legs, as you can see. It's really nice tail, and you can see the monofin through it, but that's just obvious and you should expect that um, yeah bye guys so i will admit the velcro ring wasn't perfect i will admit that but still it's better than having to use tape like i did in crystal c so yeah and i'm just spinning a little slideshow of me wearing the tail now i have to address a few things um, in a second, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say I have not tested this thing out in the water again. Um, I haven't tested it out at all. Um, so I don't know how it's gonna perform in the water along with the monofin, but I'm pretty proud of this tail so far. So yeah. Okay, now this one is the color diff- bleh. The color's different than how it, it's actually made. I'm comparing it to my surf shirts that I got from FinFun as well, since I don't have my top right now because I had to go return it. Well, not go return it, I had to ship it back to them um, because I ordered uh, the wrong size by accident. So yeah, but as you can see, um, the color is quite different, and they feel a lot different too. The swim bottoms are a lot, like, I don't know. They feel a lot better than the tail. But, you know. The swim bottoms are definitely nice. 
And I bet you'll definitely be seeing me in the whole assemble soon. Also, I kind of like how they're really similar colors, so at least you won't be able to see polka dots for the tail. Um, people, don't wear polka dots with your mermaid tails. Just don't. But, yeah. So, this is a comparison. I'm sorry for the bad quality pictures. This is my camera we're talking about. Alright, so that was pretty much it. I'm pretty much done with the tail. So yeah, so this was recorded on April 27th and June 3rd. So yeah, well, I'll see you guys later. And as always, like this video if you like this video. Favorite this video if you favorite this video, comment your opinions. And as always, subscribe if you want to. Peace out.